Okay. So this, I love geraniums. I know. I love geraniums. I do. They're they just so fun. Sparkling. Yes. And so this watercolor was done in the blue perfect mason jars, ball jars. And then I scanned that. And once it was in the computer, then the um, publisher licensed it out again to Audrey's My Heart's Design Delight. And they put it on a pillow. And then another company called Custom Decor, they put it on a flag. And then this is a mailbox cover. Oh, so fun. it's magnetic yeah. and it just flips right yeah. over your mailbox. And it's really fun to just keep changing your mailbox oh, to all yeah. the different seasons. I don't know a girl mm -hmm. that loves her home that doesn't mm -hmm. love changing for the season. Yeah. I just want to say, I just think it is so interesting the way with your watercolor, you're able to let this be transparent. Color, yes. but totally you can you can see through it and yes that, that's really neat yeah really and neat. i do paint in acrylics too mm -hmm. but for the ball jars or anything that's a jar i love to use watercolor because it does have Trans that translucent yeah. kind mm -hmm. of effect to it and it's fun because you have to really water it down a lot so that it has mm -hmm. that translucent effect and then you can see the part that has water in it is less transparent right so that's right. really important to get that Right. down too. I feel like yeah. you could reach out and grab one of those jars. Well, know? there you yeah. go. And then here it is on a hand towel. Oh, and then here it is on a giant outdoor flag. Oh, fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so that would be fun. Very a fun way to change the feel of your home for the yeah. season. Yeah. yeah, very fun. Well, thank you, Betty. You know, I do have a question for sure. you. Sure, they're all free today. Oh, you have free questions? Yeah. Well, my specialty is dumb questions, so <laughs> okay. we won't get the end of that. Okay, let's talk about Let's go back and find one that was super popular in the in the wide market. Okay. Was, well, this I mean, one was really super popular. Okay. So at Hobby Lobby, I think they've placed three orders now. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, where's the original one again? Is um, it, it's way it, over there. But if okay. you wanted to talk about originals, I mean, this yeah. one has been really okay. popular. Okay. We can talk well. about that one because what I want to find out is all right down the road. Sure. First of all, how long do you hold on to your originals before some lucky person gets to buy them? You know, I've not been selling them. I've just been stockpiling them because they're kind of like your children after you work so hard on them. So it's yeah. hard to part with them. But honestly, there's just, you know, it's time. It's time to let so, go. So the more likes or hits or whatever we're going to call it in the right. cyber world, the more people love this. Does that not make this more valuable as the original piece? Because yes. like say, I got this and this and this, but I got the original and yeah. I know her. <laughs> so, you know, that is, I mean, there's kind of a... Don't tell me everything about me. I, you I know too much. too much. I know too much, that's <laughs> yes, right. You as you do with me. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so that, mm -hmm. that does translate over time into mm -hmm. increasing the value. So maybe you were a really smart cookie instead of just a dreaded to let your child be adopted out. You know, mm -hmm. maybe it was very smart of you to see where this went so that you could adjust the value. Yeah, if something is licensed on products that go out to the market, sure. it does make the original worth Automatically, more. whether it's a, a huge hit or just hits the market. Right. right, but if it's a huge hit, mm -hmm. then it makes the artwork even more valuable because there'll never be another no. single no. original of that piece. The other. Years ago when I had my own retail store and we sold a lot of licensed product, sure. whether it be three-dimensional and then ceramic pieces like canisters or flags or, you know, some of this, mm -hmm. some of the artists that were around when I had my retail store, um, one of the things that I really liked to see in an artist was the ability to kind of change styles. Yeah. From, I mean, you're not just a floral artist, you're right. a landscape artist, you're a, um, you know, I've even seen some of your animals and things like that. So. I think that's really a valuable thing for an artist to right. have is the versatility to change different, um, different styles and right. And I've seen you do that. So right. And the publisher has actually said their artists are either computer artists or they're actual media artists. Mm -hmm. And I'm the only right. one they have that kind of mm -hmm. lives in both worlds. Yeah. And you know, the media art and art on computer. Are two different things totally but it all still comes out of your head and they say mm -hmm. that drawing is the key to all of artwork so if you can learn to draw and it's the 
kind of what's in your head that comes out mm -hmm. of your hand, mm -hmm. whether it's watercolor, ceramics, or even something on Photoshop, it all starts with drawing. So I guess maybe that coloring back in kindergarten back, yeah, was that really was, that was a good working start. for me. So <laughs> when you do a, something like this on the original, do you begin with any kind of a sketch or do you just get that paintbrush out and go? Um, no, I usually begin with the sketch. So I'll pencil something in and, you know, sometimes it's nice to see the pencil lines, but you know, mostly if there are pencil lines that I can't erase, then when I get that in the computer, I try to not have them there. Because some people like it and some people yeah. don't. So it's better to just not have them there. Our daughter, um, one of her most cherished little possessions is an original watercolor mm -hmm. of a little one in a snowsuit. Uh -huh. And one of the things that she loves the most about it is that you can see the pencil mark. Yeah. So that shows that it actually came from a human hand. Right, that. right. And and all of this, that that's kind of the, the wonderment of it. And also, I'm sure as you start to paint, that new ideas blossom like the flowers in your mind. And what wasn't in your sketch might be added to in when you do the watercolor. Yeah, and I think it's a very unique thing to be able to do this and then like you said adapt so if you feel like it's getting too heavy over here maybe mm -hmm. the original group of flowers uh, didn't have very many over here so you take an artistic liberty and right. you kind of add flowers it's or, your art you can yeah. do what you want but yeah you're I darn right and i do <laughs> and you do i take I artistic do. lessons yeah, i do good. all the time so well this has been fun yes very fun really fun so, so thank you for daddy. Me do this. yeah we'll do it again we will okay